Hello everyone. Today we're going to make stuffed potatoes. However, before I mention the ingredients, I'd like to remind everybody, if you do enjoy the episode, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can also follow us on Twitter. The link to that will be down below in the description box. Let's start off here. We need five peeled and boiled potatoes, half a kilo of either minced beef or lamb, here we have four different types of uh, paprikas or bell peppers. Um, we've used half of each, some salt, one packet of mushrooms cut into pieces, four grated cloves of garlic, one egg, two diced white onions, and here we have one teaspoon of sumac or sumac and farsi, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of paprika powder. You will need one chopped green chili, some chopped parsley, some chopped coriander, some chopped sariette, or if you don't have sariette, you can use tarragon and some breadcrumbs. So these are the ingredients we'll be using today. Let's begin. In a preheated pot, add the diced onions. This is on maximum heat. After about a minute, add some vegetable oil and some olive oil. Next, add the green chilies. This is after about a couple of minutes. After about 40 seconds, add the grated garlic. After about another minute, add the meat. We're going to keep stirring until the water evaporates. This is now on medium heat. In the meantime, we're going to saute the mushrooms. So add the mushrooms to a preheated frying pan on maximum meat. After about 20 seconds, add some olive oil. Don't saute these for long. It took us about three minutes. It's done, remove it. Next, in a preheated frying pan on maximum heat, add some olive oil. Now we're going to fry the paprika. The water has sort of evaporated, so we're going to add the spices. We're just going to add them all together and mix them in. After two minutes, these are done. Remove them. After you've mixed in the spices properly, add in the herbs. This is the coriander parsley and the sariet or if you don't have sariet you can use tarragon. Next after like a couple of minutes add in the mushrooms and then add in the paprika or the bell peppers. Once you've mixed them in add in some salt to taste. Next add in some water just a little bit Next, cover it with a lid and increase the heat to maximum. We're gonna wait for the water to boil. Once the water boils, lower the heat to three. After 10 minutes, this is done, switch it off. Next, place the potatoes in one of these things, I have no idea what it's called, and just squeeze it out. So after you're done with all of the potatoes, by the way, we had to change the bowl because the other one was too small. We forgot to mention, you need these spices. You need some one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of white pepper to add to the potatoes. Take the spices and mix them in with the potatoes. After you've added in the spices, next add the egg and mix it in. Next, add in some salt to taste. Next, add in some breadcrumbs about a couple of tablespoons. Mix it all in. Once you're done, now we're gonna wait for the meat to cool down for the next step. Once the meat cools down, start massaging the potatoes. Then take a dish and sprinkle it with some breadcrumbs. Then take some of the potato, shape it into a ball. It should be about the size of a tennis ball. Next, poke a hole into it. like that with your thumb. See, it should look like that. Next, stuff the potato with the meat, like 
that and then squeeze the sides together and then roll it back into a ball like this. So it should look like this, then place it in the dish with the breadcrumbs. In a preheated frying pan, add some vegetable oil. We're now going to fry the potato tennis balls. Once the oil heats up, add in the potatoes. Once it fries, flip them over. It took about four minutes. So this is done. Uh, we've garnished it with some thyme and olives. Um, I'm gonna try it now. Look at this. You see the meat in the center? Too big. I'm gonna make it smaller. Okay, I'm making a mess here, but excuse me. Anyway, there we go. It's so nice and soft and delicious. It's absolutely, absolutely wonderful. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye. In a preheated pot, add the mushroom.